We're at Camp Roberts, California. It's a Bradley fighting vehicle. 20 millimeter cannon, inline machine gun. And it looks like this, this is interesting. Looks like this comes down to up armor the front. I'm not entirely sure what this is. I've never seen that before. It's quite interesting. It looks like they bolted shut the back here where the troops would come out. Now we got like a Pershing. The turret is massive. This is a heavy tank for sure. This gun is ridiculous. It's got to be like 150 millimeter. This one's been used for target practice. I don't know if you could see all the dents in it on the turret. This turret style reminds me of a King Tiger, but it's a pretty high turret. And then look here. The turret looks like it's an Easy 8 Sherman. And this thing they were definitely using for target practice. They're testing out some sort of ammo on it. And then the front here they pulled off, I think, so that you can see inside. Here's the machine gun mount. You can see the drive shaft. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Let's see if we can get the lighting a little better. The drive shaft. And there's in the turret inside of there. God, this is interesting. Oh, the driver with the gears. This is crazy seeing this piece of American armored history. And if anyone could tell me what this is, it almost looks like a Bren carrier. I know it's not, but it's so small. Like they painted it up pretty nice. Still has the tracks, road tracks on it with the rubberized. It's all worn down. This thing probably hasn't moved in years, but it's still in good condition. And we got a Cobra Bell AH-1 attack helicopter. Pretty sick. Rockets. And then a cradle for larger rockets. So maybe anti-tank. And then the smaller ones for are for HE. I don't know. Oh, here's the machine gun. Okay, you got a minigun down here at the bottom and a cannon. I don't know if that's a 40 mic cannon and then it looks smaller than a 50 cal. It doesn't even look like it could be 20 millimeter. I don't even know what caliber this is. It's a very small minigun. I don't know what that would shoot. Here's my hand for perspective. Okay, moving around to the back. World War II era truck. If you're a truck guy. And then here's a... Uh, Looks like they took the engine out of this half track. Okay, this is interesting. So this flap would come up if you didn't want to be buttoned up and I'm assuming this would be armored glass. Okay, we got to show you the Jeep. I have no idea what type of Jeep it is. Maybe Vietnam era, era maybe World War II. Roll cage on it, it looks like they this looks like it could be Vietnam era, maybe a World War II era, but then they added um, some extra safety features to make it combat ready for Vietnam. The trailer's got suspension, but does it have brakes? I have no idea. Fuel tank right here. Not a bad cushion. Oh, control cluster. You got two seats in the back as well. So stoked to be here right now. This is crazy. We got pictures of the Shermans back there. And here's a gutted out turret of one. And there's a lot of damage to it, like they used it for target practice. Oh, there is. Looks like it took a round there. I was going to say it was interesting. There's no rounds to the front glacis of the tank. Got the road tracks. And then this is actually a 105 over here. 
It was an army and an artillery base, Camp Roberts, California, M14 towed howitzer. You got the recoil springs on the top, and then these two legs probably come apart to get more stability. I don't know what era this is, maybe Vietnam.